How high was the water? You said this high? What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another Lily and Bay vlog. Do you want to tell them what we're up to today? All right, today we're actually outside of Costco. Um, we came to pick up some essentials, and you would ask yourself, essentials for what, babe? We're actually getting some essentials for the people that were affected by Hurricane Ian. I actually did a story on my page, and I said, you guys, what can we do to help? And people were like, bring water, bring baby formula, baby food, regular food, canned food, hot food, clothes. A lot of people lost everything, you guys. So I told Mando, let's go to Costco, let's go to Sam's, let's see what stuff we can buy and bowl. Yeah. and fill up the truck maybe even get the little trailer for my brother and fill that up I and I also posted on my on my Instagram stories that if anybody has stuff like extra supplies that you guys might want to donate because a lot of us bought a lot of extra stuff for yeah. the hurricane so sometimes that food just stays there because it's not food that you would usually get so if you guys are wanting to donate stuff like that I told them to or clothes or whatever to bring it to our warehouse and then we'll take it over but believe it or not a lot of the roads out there are closed blocked flooded um but regardless there's still a lot of people taking stuff out there and because of these people we now have routes to get over there so let's get to it so we can hurry up and see how much stuff we can get right this is what we got so far i told mando we need to go get another one of these buggies right yeah guys with that quick quick update we just left Costco now we came to La Marqueta um, it's the flea market is it the flea market La Marqueta is where they sell a lot of produce and stuff a lot of spots are actually closed but we did find one that's open right there so we're just gonna get a few things I told Mando stuff that doesn't go bad that fast because I was like if they don't have light and they don't have electricity you know so I don't want to take food that has to be like refrigerated or any of that or that goes bad fast. So I'm trying to see how we're going to do it because um, a lot of the stuff that we bought is like in bulk. So I'm like, I, we have to divide it because, you know, I want like people to get a little bit of everything, and, you know, and I'm not going to just give somebody a whole case of elotes. You know, I could divide that between a few families and stuff like that. So... We'll see you in a bit. All right, we came to my mom's and she's also donating some cases of water. She also donated a bunch of um, school supplies. She's like, I have a lot of school supplies here, like notebooks, pens, um, book bags, all of that stuff because whenever I asked you guys, what all do you guys need? You literally said everything. So that is everything, right babe? Yeah, we got a lot, of, we got pampers, school supplies, chips water we're loaded yeah all right you guys i totally forgot to tell you guys that it is what time is it 10 41. yeah aquí andamos we got a few blankets shout out to anna she she's paying for the blankets we got some some baby wipes which we had already bought diapers and stuff over there some cereal more blankets jelly even tortillas and then i'm like okay what are necessities okay we bought some toothbrushes toothpaste some soap to shower some more baby food honestly there wasn't much baby food but we got a few packs of these and we have some gerbers yeah yeah ya nos damos because we don't have that much space or that much money but all right guys that is it because walmart closes in five minutes so we have to go check out and yeah but we'll see you guys probably later on if, if we load the stuff or tomorrow huh all right you guys one of my prima just came and dropped all this stuff out she even got uh, more baby stuff dog food and she even got pads and stuff hand sanitizer all right let me see let me see thanks paloma <laughs> she's shy guys all right you guys so here's the hard part organizing all this and putting it in here where it makes all sense but luckily we have lily bay over there that's half asleep <laughs> Pero no pasa nada. we'll get it done <laughs> lily 
Haley's OCD kicked in and she has everything nicely organized. All right, this is what it looks like in here. We got some produce, which actually we have to go pick up more right now on our way. We're gonna um, meet somebody halfway through Plant City. Some dry foods underneath there is a box of bread, some snacks, all the cereals right here, the school supplies, blankets over there, all the baby stuff on this corner. We actually got a lot of baby stuff. That kipa ya is puro baby stuff because a lot of people were saying baby stuff. Napkins and plates and stuff, which actually I have more inside, so let me go get those. Canned food, canned food, canned food, peanut butter, more canned food. So yeah, a ver ahora como me salgo de aquí. All right, you guys. We passed by to get some breakfast because we haven't bought, we haven't ate anything, and you already know. Quick update, I was messaging some friends from Arcadia. I also posted on my Instagram to see if there's any updated places that we can go to to drop off some supplies because I know like um, todos los días llega gente so the, so the locations that I might have had, let's say Antier, maybe, maybe they already got some help. You know what I'm saying? So um, we are going to Fort Myers. Literally like three different people sent me this little area. Um, with mobile homes in it that need help and I'm like hmm, if three different people that the thousands and thousands that I have sent me that specific location then I'm gonna go so that's where we're gonna go but one of the girls that I was talking to from Arcadia Crystal she was like girl be careful and I was like why are you listening babe yeah. and I didn't even think about this part she was saying that um that they started giving back themselves even the, even though they're in a disaster area they're, they're they're able to give back to people and tell me why they started like getting um violent like the people are going some people are like going crazy like they even got like guns um gunshots you know like in the area and um and i'm like damn I didn't, I didn't even think about that like there could be people like you know what i'm saying survival mode just Right. So that got me a little like, mm, even though, you know, oh shit, look what happened here. That was probably already there though. No? It looks kind of new, right? But all right, you guys, we'll keep you updated. Yo, there's so many trees out here that are down. We came to our first halt, you guys. There's a wire hanging crossing the road okay. and it's not like it's not like laying down it's literally like hanging and it's a super tiny road so a ver como we back up we got out guys <laughs> 80, 80 point turn but we got out <laughs> look how tiny the streets are like one car fits here <laughs> there's so many trees that are down Look at this. Holy moly. I think this area got hit really bad, huh? Yeah, this area bad. We, we're um, passing through Arcadia right now, and you guys, there's so, so, so many trees that are down, and huge trees that are down. Uh, I see people's properties, and it's like no, packed. Oh my god, we just came to another halt, you guys. Yeah, it says to Fort Myers this way. No? Can't go off the GPS. Turn that shit off. Okay. Alright, alright. Right. GPS don't know the roads are shut down. Okay. This road is underwater. It's underwater, That's okay. That's what we're talking about now. The bridge is washed out. Okay. So what you gotta do, you gotta do a U-turn right here. You gotta go back to County Road 769. They said, yeah, yeah, there's a bridge down there and um, it's underwater. to the gas station because we want to be safe and not sorry but these gas stations are super packed you guys you don't know what was well, we're only 30 minutes away from the area that is yeah. well yeah 30 super minutes away packed. from Fort I think Myers. this is the only gas station like in this town with gas so yeah it's pretty nice. show No propane, need one's fives. 
interviews tomorrow. But yeah, this is what it looks like. That's just a piece of the top of the gas station. All right, guys, we literally just pulled up. And Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> ¿Dónde es usted? Nicaragua. ¿Aquí vive? ¿Por aquí? Ah, listo, listo. Bueno, la actitud siempre tiene que estar la correcta. Es todo, es todo. La situación que está fea. Está canijo, ¿eh? ¿ya tiene luz? Ya, gracias a Dios. ¿Cuándo le llegó? ¿Apenas? Ayer. Ayer. Sí, sí, sí. Listo. Suerte. Gracias. ¿Qué ¿Sí puedo? Thank you. Había mucha agua aquí. Sí. Está, está sí, lleno de agua. Era ah, mato. Pero mucho viento, ah. Oh, eso sí, se rompió todo. Todo. Y salvé los dos pejos míos. Es todo. Porque aquí se murieron gato, pejo, se ahogaron. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Right now, so we're good. Just going. Damn, you got a lot of chips. You got a lot of snacks. Say what's up, huh? So we got here literally like 15 to 20 minutes ago and fortunately um, everyone came through and we are pretty much would you what would you say we're like 90% done? Yeah like quick. That was like quick. 15 minutes, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah la, la raza came through y se llevaron de todo un poco. Entonces bueno, mojó. Esto subió, esto subió para arriba. Eso subió sí. hasta aquí. It was over my head when I swam two streets over. You swam out of here? We went to, and we, we put people in the attic, all the neighbors on Cabana. Then the tree, this big tree caved in me. Oh, that's a tree. And I saw the house. Oh, well, this is total. Man. How high was the water? You said this high? Eso estaba feo, feo. Wow. This is all that's left. That's all that's left. Try to look in that window. Oh, it is devastated. Even this house had trees through the roof, bro. There's holes through the roof of these people's house still. Look at this. You come back tomorrow or day after. I, we're getting that window out so I can try to salvage anything. Yeah, get something oh, out of there. I can't believe what it looks wow. like. I'm sure the world knows the only one helping anybody here in North Fort Myers is uh, the Espanol people. That's all. Churches and people spending their own money. How are you, senor? Yes. Wow. Aquí se quedaron. Uno de mis hermanos. Se quedó. Oh, qué susto, ¿verdad? Sí, se dio un susto. Oh, sí, sí.
it was all worth it because I feel like we helped out a lot of people and they all and they were all super grateful, right? Yeah, and shout out to the people that came and took pictures with us. Oh here, yeah, right? yeah, we had a few people come out, which was cool. Um, and I know, I know. I don't know if we're going to put this in, but I know that there's going to be a lot of people saying, well, why'd you guys have to record? Why you just can't do it? But this no, is... No, no, no. Our supporters are not like that. If, well, if somebody does say that, they don't even watch us. All so. right. But I just want to, like, this could, this, this could help a little motivation. Be like, you know, um, I'm going to help out too. I'm going to help out my grandma. I'm going to help out my vecino. So just a little motivation. That's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I love watching those kind of videos. Um, I feel like I get really inspired and it gives me the ideas to do it too. You know what I'm saying? You but you guys, idea. make sure you um, hit that like, that comment, and um, we'll see you on the what? We'll see you on the next vlog.